Hello, hello, hello. I'm so excited about what I have to show you. I have Glistening Glows 2020 12 Days of Holiday Advent box. First of all, this wrapping paper is absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it's actually the same wrapping paper that she used last year. If it's not, it's very similar to it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. All of the hollow and the shimmer is stunning, but let's go ahead and get into the box. I've gone ahead and unwrapped the box here for you. Um, spoiler alert, I am going to be going through every single one of these. Um, if you want to go just day by day, make sure that you pause the video and then come back to it. Uh, another day because I ain't going to do just one after the other this year rather than separate videos for each color like I did last year. Um, but she has them individually wrapped into these beautiful boxes. Um, I noticed going through this that every single one of the polish names are a Christmas carol or a Christmas song. Um, so I'm really excited to show you. Day one is Oh Holy Night and it is an absolutely beautiful um, holographic rainbowy, uh, rainbow holographic, um, blue, blue shimmer. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll go ahead and get it swatched here for you so that you can see it. I'm just going to move the camera in a little bit closer here, uh, so that you can see, sorry about that little ride there. Um, but this goes on beautifully. It is a little bit on the sheer side. So you do want to make sure that you're building up that color with coat after coat, or just use it over another uh, color to kind of give it that other color, that shimmer and that tint. Um, but I did find that on my finger, I was able to do two to three coats, uh, where it did give me that full, uh, coverage. So there's the second coat. While that second coat is drying, I want to show you the brush here. It is her premium brush that has that nice curved uh, feel to it. Honestly, out of all of my brushes, those are my absolute favorite with Glisten and Glow is the premium brushes. Uh, so here is the third coat and it goes on just absolutely beautifully. It's got lots of shimmer to it. Uh, not completely opaque, but I think opaque enough. Uh, here it is on a swatch stick with three coats. Day two, let's get into day two. Day two is Holly Jolly Christmas. And this is a beautiful pinky red shimmer holographic polish. Um, let's go ahead and get this one swatched. So if you want me to do um, uh, individual days like I did last year, let me know. I mean, obviously in this video you're seeing what each and every single one of them are, but if you do want to see individual days and like individual uh, manicures, let me know and I can definitely do that. Uh, this one I found was perfectly opaque in two coats, absolutely beautiful. Here it is on the swatch stick. You can see a little bit of the shimmer there, uh, but it is a nice pinky red. Day three is Glisten and Glow's award-winning top coat. It is uh, fast drying, uh, very shiny. It kind of gives that shiny gel look to it. Uh, day four is Hanukkah Blessing. This is an absolutely beautiful confetti polish. It's got this nice, rich, uh, royal blue, uh, almost like a crelly to it. Um, and then it's got all these confettis that are white and silver and blue and red. And it's just really, really, really pretty. Let's go ahead and get this swatched. Here is your first coat. Lots of confetti in there. So you want to make sure that you're getting that confetti exactly where you want it. Uh, here is the second coat. And then I found it wasn't quite opaque in two coats, so I did go ahead and do a third coat here for you. Um, but you could possibly just get away with doing the two coats. But I found for coverage, I did like the third coat a little bit better. My second coat wasn't fully dry when I did that third coat, so that's why it smudged there just a little bit and I had to pat it back down. That was totally my fault, not the polish at all. But here is it, here it is on the swatch stick with three coats. And day five is Silver Bells. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, silver confetti glitter. It's got micro shifting flakes in there as well. 
uh, that shift from uh, green to teal to purple to blue uh, with lots of silver uh, flakes in it too. Uh, absolutely beautiful. This was very nice coverage in one coat. Um, if you wanted to put it over like another polish, you could definitely do that. Um, or if you do want to use just the polish, uh, just the glitter polish and not another polish, it is completely opaque in about three coats. Uh, so you do have that option as well. But it's chocked full of glitter. I can't even tell you. I think for me, um, I, I kind of wish that there was a little bit more silver in it. But that being said, it is an absolutely beautiful polish. There is your third coat. And it's perfectly uh, opaque. On the swatch stick, I did do three coats as well. And again, it's perfectly opaque. You can see that purple color shifting in there uh, to teal. It's gorgeous. Day six is Silent Night. When I saw this name, I was hoping for like a deep midnight black. Uh, and that's definitely what I got. It's a gorgeous black Crelly uh, with lots of um, kind of almost like an Aurora Borealis type glitters in it. Uh, it's got teal and blue and purple, um, but absolutely beautiful. Honestly, it went very nicely in one coat and it was perfectly, perfectly, perfectly opaque in just two coats. Um, it is a little bit hard to see the glitter, so I think I probably needed to shake the bottle a little bit more because you can definitely see the glitters in the bottle, not as well on my nail. So I probably need to shake that bottle, get the glitters going a little bit more uh, the next time that I put it on my nails. Here it is on the swatch stick. Uh, absolutely beautiful. You can kind of see the shimmers there, but really pretty. Uh, day seven is the base coat. This base coat is fantastic. I've been able to wear like deep, deep, deep red and my nails have not stained. So it's great. It's a great base coat. Uh, day eight is baby. It's cold outside. This one I was hoping for like a nice, um, just a soft blue, uh, polish and that's exactly what I got. So it was a nice soft, uh, holographic blue, uh, absolutely beautiful. This one, uh, I found it was perfectly opaque in just a few coats on my finger. On the swatch stick, I did have to do a few more coats than that, but on my finger, it was just a, a couple of coats. Um, I actually have a couple of manicures done with this one at the end of the video, so stay tuned for a cute, simple uh, manicure idea. So there is the second coat, and I am going to go ahead and do a third coat here, although on the manicures that I have at the end of the video here, it's actually just two coats that are on my finger, and it's perfectly opaque. Uh, but there is the third coat there for you, lots of beautiful holographic silvery shimmer. You can definitely see the hollow in the swatch stick as well. Uh, day A9 is Jingle Bell Rock. Um, this one is a really pretty uh, plumish, maroonish, burgundyish color uh, with lots of hollow shimmer in it. Um, absolutely beautiful. You can see the consistency there. This one, I was actually very surprised how well this one covered. It was perfectly opaque actually in just one coat, but uh, for consistency, I did want to go ahead and show you what it looks like with two coats. So uh, here it is with the second coat as well, um, but it is just a one coat coverage. It's absolutely beautiful. Kind of reminds me a little bit of soup and sip and cider, I think is what it's called, but it's got a little bit more maroony to it than that one, uh, but just a beautiful, beautiful polish. Uh, day 10 is Jill's Glit. Gl glisten and glow glitter grabber which this stuff is magic if you use the confetti polishes this just grabs onto that glitter it's perfect uh day 11 is little drummer boy and it is a beautiful um bluish purple holographic polish uh this one was perfectly opaque in just a couple of coats uh, on my swatch stick i did do more and you'll see that here at the end um, I'll show you that here in just a second, but um, really pretty uh, opaque in three coats, it looks like on this one, um, but absolutely beautiful. Here it is on the swatch stick. You can see it's still a little bit sheer on the swatch stick, but on me, it was just a couple coats that it was perfectly opaque. And day 12 is rocking around the Christmas tree. And this one is a pretty um, pinky, 
uh, almost like a hot pink um, holographic glitter. Really pretty. Um, it was a little bit on the sheer side. Uh, so this one did take a few coats to get it to be opaque. Um, but uh, it it is quite a pretty color. I don't think it's quite what I was expecting for a Christmas tree. I was kind of expecting more of like a green, but I'm kind of excited that it's outside the box. Uh, here it is on the swatch stick though. You can definitely see that holographic glitter there on that last swatch, uh, but it's beautiful. Here is the entire collection. I'm loving this theme this year. Um, and then last but not least, I have the swatch sticks done as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you each swatch stick. Uh, the first one, when I show you the up close of each of the individual swatch sticks, the first one here um, is actually six coats of this one in order to get that nice deep uh, color for Oh Holy Night. This one is three coats of Holly Jolly Christmas. Um, and then... This next one here is just three coats of Hanukkah Blessing. And then we have three coats of Silver Bells. You can definitely see the color shifting in that one. Just two coats of Silent Night on this one. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have uh, three coats of Baby It's Cold Outside. Just two coats of Jingle Bell Rock, but again, that's one that's perfectly opaque and just two colors or two coats. Little Drummer Boy has four coats to it, and then uh, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree does have three coats to it, and it's still a little bit sheer, so it could probably do with another one. As promised, here is a just quick um, manicure using that baby. It's cold outside, loving it. Hit it out of the park again, Jill. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe.